Happy Read Across America Day! And welcome to Frederick County Public Library's Daily Storytime. My name is Miss Kristen and I am here to invite you on board the magical Myersville trolley as we take a journey across America. Before we begin our adventure today, we're going to learn a new song and some sign language to go along with it. So we want to say a special thank you to the National Educators Association for allowing us to sing this Read Across America song. The first sign that you need is the sign language for read. We're going to take our two fingers and pretend they are eyes reading a book. Let's sign read. Great job. The next sign that we need is the sign for America. We're going to link our fingers together and stir them around. Will you try it with me? Let's sign America. Okay, it's time for the sign language for C. Let's make some waves. C. Sign with me, C. And finally, the last sign that we need is the sign language for build. We're going to stack our hands on top of each other like we are building up, up, and up. Let's sign build. Now it's time for our song. So I'm going to sing it two times. The first time you can practice your sign language, and the second time you can try to sing along with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Read across America, from sea to shining sea. Read across America, we'll build a better you and me. That was a great job with your sign language. Now try to sing along with me. Here we go. Read across America, from sea to shining sea. Read across America, we'll build a better you and me. That was such a wonderful job, friends. Thank you for learning that new song with me. I feel ready to start our journey. Hop on board. Our first stop is New York City. We're going to visit the Statue of Liberty, and she's going to tell us a story about the time that she took a vacation and traveled all across the United States of America. Before we leave, I want to change into something a little more touristy. That's better. Okay, it's time to head out. Ride along with me. Wow, we're already here. Don't you just love a magical trolley ride? I see the Statue of Liberty out my window. Let's go meet her. Welcome to New York City. I am the Statue of Liberty and I look out over New York City Harbor. I am an important symbol of the United States of America and many people love to come visit me. It can be pretty tiring standing here all day holding this torch up in the air though and I look at the same city and buildings all day long. So one day I decided I needed to take a vacation. The author, Jenna Rena, wrote a story about my trip. Would you like to hear it? Great, I'll ask Miss Kristen to read it to you. I'll sit down and join you. It'll give me a chance to rest my legs. Lady Liberty's Holiday, written by Jenna Rena and illustrated by Matt Hunt. With a special thank you to Alfred A. Knopf and Random House for allowing us to read this story. Not long before the 4th of July, Lady Liberty woke up feeling a little blue, despite being green. Year after year, she stood by New York Harbor, a torch in one hand, a tablet in the other. Mo, every day feels the same, Liberty said. I see the same skyscrapers, the same city. My neck is stiff, my arms are achy. I've had a cramp in my leg for a decade at least. Mo puffed out his pigeon chest. Lady, you need a getaway he told her. Go and see the country. Shake the rust off, Ed. I don't have any rust, Lady Liberty protested. Mo went on. Give yourself a holiday. Mo's words echoed in Liberty's head. She had seen only one little corner of America. What was the rest like? That night, she lowered her torch. She put down her tablet. She pried her sandals from the stone. And then the Statue of Liberty snuck away. First, she left footprints on the Jersey Shore. 
and built the biggest sandcastle Cape Cod had ever seen. She washed the sand off at Niagara Falls. Then Lady Liberty headed west. She watched the Mississippi River from the top of the St. Louis Arch. And in Kansas, wheat fields tickled her feet. She even did some sightseeing in South Dakota. She hiked across the Rocky Mountains in sandals. Afterward, the California sunshine made her so sleepy she napped on the Golden Gate Bridge. Back in New York, Mo was starting to worry. The 4th of July was three days away, but without Lady Liberty, people weren't in a holiday mood. Tourists were gloomy, cops were cross, even the stock market was down. The mayor was talking about canceling the 4th of July. What if Liberty doesn't come back in time, Mo said. What if she's gone for good? He had to find her. It was true. Liberty wasn't thinking of returning. At the Grand Canyon, for once in her life, Lady Liberty felt small. trekked through a hot, dry desert and slurped water from a Yellowstone geyser. It tasted awful. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas, she napped under the big, bright stars with cattle all around. She danced to music near New Orleans. Used the Florida Keys as stepping stones and waded through southern swamps. Lady Liberty was shaking an alligator off her big toe when she heard the familiar flap of pigeon wings. It was Mo. He perched on her shoulder. Lady, I've been looking all over for you, he said. You have? Liberty asked. How are things in New York? Not so good, Mo said. They're canceling the 4th of July. Liberty bolted up as if she'd been struck by lightning. Canceling the 4th of July? They can't! Mo nodded. Nobody feels like celebrating without you. But the 4th of July isn't about me. It's about America, Liberty cried. I've seen this country, the purple mountains, the shining seas, the bridges and buildings. Everyone should know how amazing it is and celebrate it. Mo fluffed his feathers. Come back to New York, he said. The mayor might change his mind. He didn't get to finish. Liberty was already running north. At dawn, the sun shone on the copper dress of Lady Liberty in New York Harbor, where she had stood for over a hundred years. That night, fireworks lit the sky, and people waved flags, sang songs, and shouted, Happy Fourth of July! And Liberty was blue no longer. It was good to get away, she told Mo, but it's great to be home. The End Wow, Lady Liberty has really inspired me to travel across the country. Let's get back on the trolley and see where we're going to next. It's time to leave New York City. We are going to travel to the most northern state in the United States of America, Alaska. If you watched our story time yesterday, we had a story time from a library in Alaska. Alaska is really far away, but with our magical trolley, we'll get there in no time. But first, a change of clothes again. Now I'm ready. Here we go. Wow, here we are in Katmai National Park, Alaska. Did you know that most of North America's grizzly bears live in Alaska? Let's head off the trolley and meet my friend, Baby Bear. Oh my goodness, Baby Bear, you live in such a beautiful part of the United States of America. Would you like to come visit some of America's habitats and animals with me? 
stuff like that sounds like such an amazing adventure. Do you want to go and visit with Baby Bear all of the animals of North America? He really wants us to join him. I think that sounds wonderful. Let's jump back on board the trolley. Baby Bear, hop on. Our journey together is based on the book, Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? Written by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. It's also going to be sung to a very familiar tune. Baby Bear, Baby Bear, baby bear what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing by me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see my baby bear looking at me. Oh, would you look at that? We're back in Alaska again. Boy, when baby bear saw his mama bear, he hopped right off the trolley and went running for his mommy. Let's all shout a big thank you to baby bear. Thank you, baby bear. He took us on such a great journey. We traveled to states like Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and Tennessee. But now friends, it is time for us to head back to Maryland. Let's ring that trolley bell one more time and head home. Well, we made it back to the Myersville Library. Friends, we learned today that America is filled with amazing sights amazing animals, and amazing people. Before we hop off the trolley today, let's read a story about the people of America. This story is called, We Came to America, and it was written by Faith Ringgold. We want to say a special thank you to Alfred A. Knopf and Random House for allowing us to read this story. We Came to America. We came to America, every color, race, and religion, from every country in the world. Some of us were already here before the others came. And some of us were brought in chains, losing our freedom and our names. We came to America, every color, race, and religion, from every country in the world. We travel from our birthplace by boat and by plane. Some of us came running from injustice, fear, and pain. We came to America, every color, race, religion, from every country in the world. We brought along our joyful songs, our stories wise and true. Our music colored the air, beautiful sounds and patterns everywhere. 
Our joyful dance now freed our pain, gently like soothing rain. Our food, our fashion, and our art made America great. We came to America, every color, race, and religion from every country in the world. In spite of where we came from, or how or why we came, we are all Americans just the same. The end. Well, it's time for us to hop off the trolley, my friends. Watch your step as you get down. Before you go, let's sing and sign our Read Across America song again. We'll sing it two times to help you remember. Read across America, from sea to shining sea. Read across America, we'll build a better you and me. Read across America, from sea to shining sea. Read across America, we'll build a better you and me. I had so much fun reading across America with you today. Thank you for joining me, friends. And if you would like to join us for more virtual story times across America, we will have story times from libraries in Texas, Florida, and Maine throughout the rest of our week. If you missed yesterday's story time from Alaska, visit fcpl.org or our Facebook page for that story time. And if you would like to read more about America, you can check out these great selections via curbside pickup. Bye-bye!